Hello beautiful people. In today's video I will discuss about 10 signs you're sensitive gluten and you don't know. Gluten is called a silent killer because it can cause chronic damage throughout the body. Sometimes, the patient is not even aware of the consequences of gluten consumption. In this video I compiled a checklist of gluten sensitivity symptoms. 1. Problems with the gastrointestinal tract. Symptoms are mainly associated with the intestine, nausea, bloating, diarrhea, abdominal pain, and even constipation. People often associate these symptoms with other diseases. And patients are diagnosed by mistake with irritable bowel syndrome. Studies confirm that 10 to 15% of the world's population suffers from irritable bowel syndrome. But this diagnosis can lead to people sensitive to gluten who do not receive the appropriate treatment so that their symptoms do not disappear. 2. Unexplained weight changes. Gluten intolerance can lead to weight loss and weight gain for no apparent reason. This is due to inflammatory processes at the cellular level and metabolic disorders. A sudden change in weight can accompany other unpleasant diseases. But it may be related to gluten intolerance if it is accompanied by other symptoms of malabsorption. 3. Skin and nail problems. Hair keratosis and herpetiformis dermatitis are two skin conditions directly related to gluten intolerance. Symptoms include itching and rashes that may appear on the hands, trunk, face, buttocks, elbows, and hairline. Another symptom is weakened and brittle nails. Other skin irritations, such as imitated eczema, may indicate a gluten-induced blockage. 4. ADHD. Another disorder that may be associated with gluten intolerance is attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. ADHD can manifest itself in children and adults. People with this disorder have poor attention span and self-control problems. A gluten-free diet can help reduce the symptoms of ADHD. 5. Bad dental condition. In the case of gluten intolerance, the absorption of the necessary elements and minerals in the intestine is affected. This also applies to calcium. The result can be problems with the teeth and oral cavity. Hypersensitivity to enamel, tooth decay, cavities, and mucus ulcers. If you take good care of your teeth but still notice some problems. This may be due to your consumption of gluten. 6. Iron Deficiency Anemia. Often, celiac disease is diagnosed due to iron deficiency anemia. Its symptoms include reduced blood volume, fatigue, shortness of breath, headaches, pale skin, mucous membranes, and even arthritis. Iron is poorly digestible because, with gluten intolerance, there is a deterioration of iron absorption in the intestine. 7. Autoimmune diseases. Many people with autoimmune diseases have a history of gluten intolerance. Celiac disease is an autoimmune disease in which the immune system attacks its own intestinal cells after gluten enters. The problem is compounded by the fact that this autoimmune disease increases the risk of developing other autoimmune diseases, such as autoimmune thyroiditis. Autoimmune liver disease, Crohn's disease, diabetes, vitiligo, rheumatoid arthritis, and multiple sclerosis. 8. Fatigue, brain fog or feeling tired after eating a meal that contains gluten. 9. Inflammation, swelling or pain in your joints such as fingers, knees or hips. 10. Diagnosis of chronic fatigue or fibromyalgia. These diagnoses simply indicate your conventional doctor cannot pinpoint the cause of your fatigue or pain how to test for gluten intolerance i have found the single best ways to determine if you have an issue with gluten is to do an elimination diet and take it out of your diet for at least two to three weeks and then reintroduce it please note that gluten is a very large protein and it can take months and even years to clear from your system so the longer you can eliminate it from your diet before reintroducing it the better in order to get accurate results from this testing method you must eliminate 100% of the gluten from your diet. How to treat gluten intolerance? 
Eliminating gluten 100% from your diet means 100%. Even trace amounts of gluten from cross-contamination or medications. Or supplements can be enough to cause an immune reaction in your body. The 80-20th's rule or, we don't eat it in our house, just when we eat out, is a complete misconception. An article published in 2001 states that for those with celiac disease or gluten sensitivity, eating gluten just once a month increased the relative risk of death by 600%. Still unsure? Seek out an integrative practitioner or functional medicine physician to help to guide you. Thanks for watching today's video. Did you learn anything new today? If you find this video helpful give me a big thumbs up. Please, don't forget to comment and subscribe for more videos. Bye and see you in the next video.